Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Recently, I released a new course on Palm 2. As to getting started with Palm 2, we looked at how we can apply for the waitlist for Make a Suite. After that, we looked at how we can um, set up your Make a Suite and also look at features like text prompt, data prompt, and chat prompt. Additionally, at the end of the course, I showed you how we can use Google Apps Script and the Palm API to pass basic prompts from your Google Apps Script editor and get appropriate responses. In this video, we'll be extending those capabilities that we had in the previous videos and we'll be creating a custom function instead of Google Sheets using BARD and the Palm API and Google Apps Script. So what I want to basically do is I want to go back to my Google Sheet here and this is what I have. I have a prompt column here. I have a response column here and I have some prompts here and if I enter this function that is going to be BARD and I select this, so I want a response back from but using the Palm API and Google Apps. So this is what we'll be doing in this video. I had also done something similar using the OpenAI API and Google Apps in one of my previous tutorial series. If you haven't checked that out, you've missed out on something very interesting as to how we can use ChatGPT and Google Apps Script to just pass prompts from one place to another. You can create good document summaries and more. So check out that link in the description and hope that helps you out. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is really going back to our maker suite here and um, this is what I see on my screen right now. And um, just to inform you, if this is the first video you're watching right now, I would recommend you to go back to the playlist and see how you can apply for the Maker Suite uh, waitlist because currently Maker Suite is not available for everybody. So you need to go and apply for the waitlist. And once you get it, this is what you'll be seeing. So I'm going to go back, go to my get API key here and I have my API key section here. I already have one API key created. So I'm just going to click on it and copy it. But just in case you want to create a new API key for yourself, you just go click on create API in a new project and a new API key will be generated. You just go ahead, copy it and you paste it in your Google Apps Script editor. So now that we have our API key ready and good to go, it's time to go ahead and code our Google Apps Script code. So let's just go to our extensions. I'll go and open up my Google Apps Script editor. So here you can see my Google Apps Script editor has opened up successfully. So I'm just going to clear this out and I'm going to be creating a new function called BARD. And inside this function, I'm going to be passing the prompt variable here. So this is what we've been getting from the custom function as to if I go back to my Google Sheet and I do equal to bar here and I open up the brackets. This is the prompt that is going to be passed into my Google Sheet. So let's just go back to our app editor and start coding. So after I have this here, I'm going to be declaring my API key here. So I'm going to do variable API key. And I'm just going to copy paste my API key from here. And once I have this, I have to specify the API URL that is the end point as to where this, uh, where do I have to send my API requests to or API calls to. So I'm going to just copy that too from here. And uh, if you want the code, I'll be leaving the code link in the description. Once I have that, I want to combine this into one final URL where I have the API key as a parameter instead of the final URL where I'll be sending my requests. So I'm just going to do variable API URL plus I'm going to be adding here this key and I'm going to be doing API key here. And once I'm done with this, I'm going to be going ahead and declaring my headers. So the code that you will be seeing right now is very, is not exactly same, but it is very similar to the ones that we had while we were working with the OpenAI API. So you can check out those videos too, to get a better understanding of what we are trying to do here. So I'm going to be declaring my content type here and normally it's going to be application slash JSON. So I have my headers sorted out here. After this, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to be declaring my request body. So, this, so the request body is basically going to contain all of my, all of not all of my prompts, but it's going to be containing the prompt that I'm going to be passing. So we have to declare it in this fashion. We do this, we pass the prompt here. And then since this is going to be a text prompt, right? I'm going to be creating us out. I'm going to go here and add text. And here I'm going to be passing the prompt variable that we just got from there. So we have our header ready. We have our content type ready. Now it's time to declare the options for it. The options will basically contain your uh, post method, like the method that is there. So I'm going to open up my method. This, when we do method, I'm going to be having this as the post method. After this, the next thing I want to do is declare my headers again. So I'm going to be declaring the header. I'll specify this variable here. After this, I'm going to be adding, having my payload. 
and inside this payload i'm going to be basically doing something like this where i go to json stringify and inside this i'm going to be doing my request body so i have my request body inside of my payload and i think we're ready and good to go so the next thing is just going to be basically having my response here so i'm going to do a url fetch app dot fetch and inside this i'm going to passing the final url that we built up here and after this i'm going to be specifying my options i have my options ready now you have got your path your response you have sent it to your uh, i mean you have sent your request to the api it's time to get an output back i'm going to be creating a new variable called output here and inside of my output i'm going to be or basically it's going to be data i want it to be data so my data is going to be json dot parts and inside this i'm going to be doing response oops i'm going to be doing response dot get content text so here i have got this successfully after this i'm going to be doing something called variable output and inside this i'm going to be doing data dot candidates inside this is going to be zero dot output i've done this here and after this, I'm just going to be doing logger dot clear logger dot output. And after this, one final command is going to be returning my output back to the Google Sheet. So I'm going to return output here, and we are done. Our code is ready and successfully done. It's ready and good to go. So let's just go ahead and just once click on run. I'm going to go to review permissions here, and after this, it will open up a screen here where I have to confirm. The project that i'm using so i'll select my email address here and uh, go to advanced go to the project and it will ask you it's connecting to an external service so just go ahead and click on allow i'm going to go back to my google sheet here and inside this i'm going to be doing bar and open up this i'm going to specify this as the prompt and i'm going to click on enter and I should get a response saying Elon Musk because Elon Musk is currently the richest man in the world. So our code has worked successfully. I'm just going to drag this down here. And in a few seconds, we should get both the answers. The latest version of IS is 15.5 and the population of India is 1.3 billion. So here you can see our custom function inside of uh, Google Sheets using the Palm API and Google Bart has successfully worked. This is just the start of combining the power of generative AI with Google Workspace tools. In my future videos and future tutorials, I'll be showing you how we can combine these two powerful tools to create different different products, to create different workflows and some cool things around it. So uh, I'll be leaving the code link in the description. A written version of this video will be coming out very soon. So you can click on the Medium page in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.